morning, good morning, or is it good afternoon, or perhaps it's good night where you are, how are you doing? I trust that you are healthy, that you are safe, and you are well. My name is Sophia Elizabeth Lambert, and I'm sharing with you another of my devotions. Today's title is A Suffering Time Now, or Our Present Sufferings. It's from Romans 8, verses, verse 18, beg your pardon. It reads, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Here ends the reading of Romans chapter 8, verse 18. As humans, we do not like nor appreciate sufferings, but it is inevitable. Suffering is the enduring of difficulties that can last for a short period or for years of our lives. As children of the Lord Most High, we have to accept the fact that we will suffer. Suffering is a tool the Lord uses to mold us into his likeness, as well as we must share in the Lord's sufferings so that we can also share in his glory. Romans 5, 3 to 5 says, Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Therefore, it is imperative for us to go through our sufferings. As people of God, we must embrace the fact that we have to suffer for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our brothers and sisters in some parts of the world are suffering because they will never renounce the name of Christ. We, within this hemisphere, are at ease for a little while longer. Or so we think. The spiritual warfare against the church and the word of God increases daily. As the battle increases, so will our sufferings. Our current light and momentary troubles is similar to a walk in the park in comparison to what some Christians are experiencing in some jurisdictions and what we will have to endure in the future. If you hate to suffer as a child of God, like myself, I particularly grow weary with long sufferings, but may I encourage us to adapt to the training the Lord takes us through by allowing us to suffer long. And as he is teaching us to wait for our prayers to be answered, he is maturing us through these disciplines. Therefore, let us count it all joy because they are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Our natural minds can't conceive what that glory will be, but any reward from the Lord is worth enduring for. We must persevere until, until the Lord says your breakthrough has come. Please bear in mind that the Lord has every aspect of your life carefully planned and his timing is perfect. There is a song by the newsboys that is a great reminder for us. The authors state a fact through the song. The song is titled, well, God, I know you're going to come through for me because I it says, because I know you're all, you always come through. You have not forsaken me. You are working all things for my good, even when I cannot see. I know you always come through for me. That ends the quote. They are right. It is a fact. It is not if, but, or maybe. The Lord will come through for us. So don't grow weary. You are doing well. Don't surrender in the fight. The Holy Spirit is with us to see us through. Thank you for watching this video. And please remember to have your devotions. Build that relationship with the Lord. It is worth it. Many, many blessings to you. And may the Lord keep you and guide you throughout this day and beyond. Have a great day. Blessings.